Okay, uh, section B, step two is the motor installation. We recommend the Scorpion 222 1-10 motor. And uh, there's a couple things you have to do in preparation. We'll grind a flat on this main shaft uh, and we'll solder on the RPM sense wire. The RPM sense wire comes out of this uh, wire board pack in the electrical bag and it's plugged into this board so just unplug that off of that board and set that back aside. Now the Scorpion motors come with uh, some connectors and some mount screws. I like to use these Scorpion mount screws. I don't use what's supplied in the kit. So before I even take this motor out of the bag, I'll just push this shaft through and then it exposes the where I want to grind that flat. I'll grind that flat as close to that shoulder on the shaft as possible and make it about uh, three or four millimeters five millimeters wide so you make sure your grub screw gets onto it. So I just use the end of a cutoff wheel to grind that flat onto the motor shaft. And then I'll I usually pick the black wire but I'll remove the insula insulation on one of these motor leads for our RPM sensor. The RPM sensor comes out of the uh, wire board interface in the wire pack and we'll just solder that on here then reheat shrink it. I just solder this wire right to the outside of the dagger pin connector running uh, parallel with the wire, motor wire. I just look for that location where they have a lump of solder already. I'll tin this small lead. Takes a little time to heat this up because it's so so big. Just make sure you don't uh, make a cold solder joint here. Then you have to reheat shrink it. Don't make this heat shrink too long or it'll prevent this wire from coming off earlier. So it's about um, a half inch to three quarters of an inch long. And then go ahead and heat that up and shrink that up. So the motor pinions uh, came out of a previous pack. We'll lock tight the grub screw. Then making sure that it lines up with this flat. There's a little counter bore 
and the bottom of these pinions to make this sit as low as possible. Line up that grub screw with that flat. Just wiggle it a little bit. Make sure you have it on there right and get that good and tight. That's a steel pinion, so you're not going to strip that grub screw out. The main shaft, I like to just wiggle it and just feel it engage the perfect center of that shaft and tighten it up good and tight. That's a steel pinion so you're not going to strip it out. And that pretty much prepares the motors for installation. Uh, the Scorpion Motors comes with an installation pack and in that installation pack are uh, motor mount screws and I like to use the one supplied with the Scorpion Motors without a washer They got a big head on them and you can install these without a So to put the motors in, you have to loosen up these two bottom plate screws. You don't have to take them out, you just have to loosen them up. And then the, the wires for the motor goes towards the inboard side of the nacelle. So just stick them out through that hole, spread the side frames, and let your motor sit up against the motor mount. So as soon as we get the motor snapped in there, we'll go ahead and retighten up these bottom plate screws so we don't forget that. So I like to use the screws that come with the Scorpion motor and I don't use a washer with these screws. You have to turn this motor all the way to get the holes to be visible in the motor. And just add that screw to the motor mount. And you can actually using this little window on the side you can actually pry on those screw heads to help set your backlash if you don't have your motor centered that grub screw actually drag, drags on your on your motor mount. So take the time to try to center that motor on the motor mount. To prevent that from happening. It really doesn't hurt anything but just makes an annoying ticking sound when the motors when the motors running. So set your backlash, then tighten up these screws. Just a, you never want those gears to be tight. You always want a little bit of backlash in there. And you got to go around the whole gear, check it in several places, so you have a nice smooth running assembly. And 
and that's the motor installation.